Welcome to our lecture online and now an example, an exercise on how to calculate or how to find the sides of a right triangle if certain things are given. In this case, in this example, the hypotenuse is known and the angle is known. We have a hypotenuse that has a length of 25 centimeters and an angle here of 37 degrees. And we're supposed to find x and y. Now from experience, what we'll find is that quite often x will be associated with using the cosine of the angle, y will be associated with using the sine of the angle, but that's not always the case. That could be a dangerous thing to do. What I recommend you always do is recognize what the two unknown sides are. In this case, this is known as the opposite side because it's opposite to the angle. So I'll label this as the opposite side. And this here is the adjacent side because it's adjacent to the angle adjacent side. And then we realize the definitions of the sine and the cosine. We know that the sine of the angle theta, the sine of theta, by definition is the ratio of the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse, and I can just write h for hypotenuse, like that, h. And I realize that the cosine of the angle theta is the ratio of the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse. And if I use that methodology, it's, I can't go wrong very often. All right, so what I'm trying to find is I'm trying to find the opposite side, so I'm going to go ahead and use this here. The opposite side then is equal to the hypotenuse times the sine of the angle theta. Sine of theta, so in this case, the opposite side is equal to h, which is 25 centimeters, times the sine of the angle 37 degrees. And so the opposite side, which is equal to y, so y, which is equal to the opposite side, which is equal to... And then, of course, I need a calculator. So I take 37 degrees, take the sine of that, and multiply that times 25. And I find it's 15 centimeters. So this is 15 centimeters for y, or the opposite side. All right, now for the adjacent side. I can use this, do the same thing over here. The adjacent side is equal to h times the cosine of the angle theta. And h is, of course, 25 centimeters and the cosine of 37 degrees. I multiply those two together and see what we get in this case. So I take 37, and I take the cosine of that, and multiply times 25, and I get close enough to 20 centimeters. So in this case, the adjacent side is x, so x, which is equal to the adjacent side, which is equal to 20 centimeters. And that's how we go ahead and do that. So that's how we find the unknown sides, realizing we know one side, one angle, and realizing it's a right angle triangle. So in essence, we know two angles and one side, and we can find everything else about the triangle. And that's how we do that.